So I've heard you guys were filming in Budapest and it was extremely hot. Yeah. How did you deal with that heat? Did you have ice cream? Well, in the beginning, it was actually fairly cold, but as the seasons moved on, it got colder and colder. And they had tents and they had heaters, but it was just like, you know, it was very cold. And I feel bad for the crew because I don't think they had that, but it was... It was manageable. So it was really cold, not hot. Oh, see, I heard otherwise. Well, oh, no, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. So it was cold, okay. okay it was cold. But then as it went on to summer, it got very hot. I was I was mixing my words up. And then they had tents with coolers in it. Sorry. Oh, there we go. See, it was such a Too blast. Too much to drink. <laughs> what? Just no. kidding, just kidding. Now, tell us a little bit more about your character because I've been watching so many behind-the-scenes footage, mm -hmm. but tell us more about it. Well, Stevie, he's like this street kid who gets taken in by Dr. Laszlo Kreisel, played by Daniel Bruhl. And he really is just focused on being his ward and really reforming, but also still having that street sense because he was out on the streets at a very young age, so he still has that knowledge and the street cred to help with the investigation. So where did this street cred come from, from you? Where mm -hmm. did you find that? Well, for me, looking at the character, we found out, or I found out in the character in-depth analysis, is at a very young age, like eight or nine, he left his mom, who was a drug addict, and he was literally in the streets by himself, and he, he actually um, joined a gang. So really all of that plays into the character himself. All right. What parts of yourself were you able to put into your character, if any? Well, it was, it was very tough because Stevie and Matt Lintz come at very different perspectives of life. Like, he was at the low life. I'm very, I'm well set off, I think. And he's, um, <laughs> I don't know. There isn't, we, we couldn't really... I couldn't really relate, so it was kind of tough, actually, but I found a way. Yeah? And we're going to see that way. I'm so excited. Yes. Now, if you could describe your character in one word, mm -hmm. what would it be? Just one. Or hashtag, even. Hashtag. Whichever hashtag. one's more Hashtag. Hmm. I don't know. Hashtag. Strong. He's very strong. Yes. Strength. Strong or strength. Either one of those. Okay. Both. Those, those will be trending. Or They'll courage. Be okay. Courage, yeah, sure. Uh, what would you tell people to get them to watch if they haven't already heard of The Alienist? Why haven't you heard of it? But if they haven't? If they haven't, they should start watching because I think this show is going to be very well. And it's, it's a different type of story that isn't really on TV. I mean, there is certain stories like this, but this one is just very special in that it takes in the late 1800s in, in New York. And it's a very interesting, unique story. Well, thank you so much for thank talking you so to us. Much. Have a great rest of your evening. You too. Thank you.